Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Scorpio. Hope you're all well. Thought it would be fun to do your next date. Who you're dating next, who you will have a date with next, where you will go. How things will turn out, there you go. Ooh, teamwork, cooperation, compromise, compatibility. You've got an energy of two steps forward, two steps back. Somebody's kind of holding back here, yeah? They want to know if you're compatible. There's something to do with this going off on a new path. There's a person here who doesn't want to give up, but they're holding back thinking about something here. Two steps forward, two steps back. Interesting. Scorpio. Yeah, someone wants to get to know you. I, yeah, someone's definitely has all the tools. This is someone who isn't going to give up once they make up their mind. I can see that. This person may feel that you're compatible. There's going to take some flexibility, some kind of cooperation here, okay? This is going off on a new path. Someone's holding back. They want to get to know you more. They're trying to figure something out is what I feel, whether you're compatible. They want to take a little time to get to know you. Make sure you do that. Someone's manifesting you. And when this person makes up their mind, see, this is someone who's coming in to take control. This is someone who has all the tools they need. They're trying to figure something out here. They're, they're thinking about something. They're kind of back and forth in their head, whether they should reach out, go off on this path because this is this is someone who's definitely been checking you out from a distance they see you as a keeper mm -hmm. they've checked out all your assets so this is probably it could be someone you know or someone around you they want to get to know you they want to this is moving forward calmly and peacefully growing closer getting to know each other through communication but this is also a card of learning taking the things you learn and move forward this person's ready to manifest they're trying to find a way to come in and take control of a situation yeah they don't want to lose control they don't want you to get away is what i feel <laughs> interesting energy yeah this is someone who has the tools they probably have a really nice vehicle okay it looks like they they definitely want to get to know you they're gonna i feel like this is someone who's going to either travel to come and see you they're definitely going to pick you up this is someone who's been checking you out they see you as a keeper wow you may see this person that way but there's this kind of holding back yeah, you're going to hold back a little bit, Scorpio, from this person. You're a little bit in protective mode. You probably want to get to know them a bit. And this is you controlling your emotions, using the power you have to control your emotions, okay, to hold back a little. Don't start loving up on this person too quickly. Interesting. Yeah, they, we've got the King and Queen of Cups. So there's someone here who definitely wants your attention. They could be a little needy. That might make you kind of hold back. But this person someone who's been doing a lot of thinking. They're letting go of something. See, this person, this is, is likely someone you may know that's in your energy already. Possibly. It could, like I say, they could be someone who's been just checking you out from a distance. They're looking at you. They see you as very balanced. Like, look at this energy. You've got someone here who's definitely emotionally available, but they're holding back. They're trying to control their emotions. I feel they don't want to come across as needy, but they want your attention. This is somebody who wants to move forward. They want success. So let's see where this is going to take you. This person had, like, there's this manifesting. Like, you may even be mirroring each other where you both kind of hold back a little bit. <laughs> you both want love. This could move forward successfully. I feel this person's going to reach out at some point. They're thinking about going off on this new path. They're, they want to know if you're compatible. I feel this is someone who doesn't give up easy, though. Yeah, this is somebody who's looking for someone compatible, someone who's emotionally open. Beautiful. Yeah, this is someone who doesn't give up, though. They may be a good kisser, too, just so you know. <laughs> Two steps forward and back. Let's see. This is someone who's kind of been holding back. Yeah, they want, there's something here. They want to go off on this path. This is someone who's ready for that adventure and love. I feel they want to travel, do things. They could be kind of outdoorsy as well. I see movement, travel, going to see each other. We'll see where this takes you. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands for Scorpio. Why is this here? This is someone who doesn't, this is someone, once they make up their mind to offer up 
this is someone really ready for love. Yeah, this is someone who's ready to speak a truth. They're coming up with ideas, aha moments. They're holding back their thinking. They're trying to gain some kind of truth and clarity about you. Okay, it, maybe you're going to hold back from this person. We'll see. Tell me about this Four of Swords. Just one, please. I'm only going to take the top card if I get lots. Yeah, you've definitely, yeah. This is someone who's been holding back. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's been, uh, has a habit probably of rushing in and out, okay? Holding back. They want to chase after you, though. Let me tell you, they there's some fire here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Down here again, a little bit of Sag energy, Scorpio. This person wants to chase after you, but they're holding back and thinking. They they do they. I feel that they're they're a little bit cautious, maybe not so sure. Okay, but they're thinking of creative ideas. This is someone coming up with new ideas. They want to this, this truth. They, there's some things that they need clarity on. So they're holding back from rushing in too quickly. <laughs> this could be yourself as well. You can flip this energy. Yeah, King and Queen of Cups, two people who want... To, both of you are kind of holding back. But boy, this person sees you as a keeper. And you may as well. You very way as, may as well. Once you connect with this person you're kind of mirroring each other but there there's this manifesting like you may have manifested this with this person yourself by holding back okay maybe you wanted to reach out you can come up as that you wanted to rush in and decided you needed to know this person a little bit more you need to learn a little more about this person six of swords what's happening here Six of Swords for Scorpio for your next date. Where will it lead? Oh, there we are. Yeah, you've got someone who needs a little more clarity. They want to get to know you more. And you need it too, because I feel like you're going to hold back a little. But you're going to have this date. They're, come, they're manifesting this. They have the tools, the vehicle. They got it all. They're coming to pick you up. You're a little in protective mode, but I feel whatever it is you're going to do, it's going to be very balanced, okay? Because I see that energy of using all the power you have to control your emotions. You're not, it's like you're in an energy where you're not going to rush in. You're not going to fall for this person, okay? And I see a lot of communication back and forth. I see this moving forward. This person's going to, I see a lot of talk, uh, a lot of creativity, a lot of passionate energy. You're going to be sharing something. You're both manifesting this. You both want this to move forward. There's that sad energy. Yeah, this is about balance. This person's trying to be patient, and it's in the middle. I think you both are. There's some chemistry here, definitely. This person sees you as a good fit. Uh, they're going to pull back. This is You're different than their usual type, too, and that's why they're holding back. They're not going to, they don't want to rush in and rush out they need to know things or maybe they're worried that you will <laughs> not moving too fast calmly and peacefully yeah see there's that balance holding back looking at all the details this person's holding back their offer right they're holding back feeling a little bit stuck both of you look at that yeah you're both in protective mode you know, but all it is is taking off that pentacle. Once this person makes that offer, then we go to that three of pentacles. Cooperation, compromise, compatibility. Two people coming together, going off on a path. But you're holding back from each other. You're going to have a date. You're going to go out somewhere. Uh, I see some kind of travels, maybe something outdoorsy. I kind of feel that there's definitely that energy some kind of adventure, something. This person does have a bit of an ego. It could be getting in the way. They're used to getting a lot of attention. This is someone who's not used to having to chase somebody. So this is why, like they want to rush in there. This is someone who's impatient and anxious. They really want to get it going, but they need to know more. I think you do too. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Where's this date going to be? It's definitely some something adventuresome something different all right this is person's trying to come up with ideas to do something different and i i feel that you're if you're waiting for somebody to offer you a date they're holding back okay they're looking at all the details i think they're trying to think of some ideas okay to do something something fun something full of adventure maybe they see you that way Hmm, Scorpio, Scorpio. They could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio themselves. 
see a little Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, definitely some Aries, Leo, Sag, definitely Sag energy. <laughs> wow. Four of Pentacles. What's this holding back about? Yeah, see, this person, there's a definitely crushing. This person knows they got to do and say sweet things. I feel they're going to give you something. But they're just holding back. They're, you may be just crushing and not sure, okay, about this person. Maybe you're waiting for them to, you know, bring you flowers or things like that. But this is two people who are crushing. You're both crushing on each other. You both have these sweet feelings. I feel like you want to just keep it simple too. Like hold back, just keep it simple. You don't want anything complicated. You want to make sure this person's right. I see this need for balance, balancing head over heart, uh, patience. You know, intemperance is a lot of a lot of things, but it's it's like a test, okay? Like a test run. <laughs> So this is definitely a first date, but I feel that both of you are very aware. Yeah, you're not so sure. You're not so sure of this person. And I think they're crushing on you. They're maybe afraid you're going to reject them because they sense this holding back. I do feel they're going to reach out. They're going to communicate. Fiery, passionate, playful. They're going to just come towards you, but they're trying to think of something. I think unique is what's coming to mind to do with you. They want to have a good time. That's that sense of adventure beautiful energy yeah teamwork cooperation there they are look how that's coming up look at that this person is ready to cooperate they're ready to go off on a new adventure in love they want this to go they want this to work okay so you they may actually talk to you and ask you where you want to go because i think they're a little afraid of of suggesting something to go somewhere and then you won't be interested so I think they're like it's, I see a collaboration about where to go, what to do. You may hold back and kind of think about it. This is holding back and thinking. This person's very anxious to get things going, but they know to hold back. They're, you know, this is sort of kind of like a look before you leap energy. This is someone very enthusiastic. Okay, very very nice energy, and you may be feeling that way, wanting to get it, to get this going, but there's something going to tell you to hold back. Look at the details. It really has to do with whether you're compatible, whether you're a good fit. I see some kind of communication here where this person's, it's like they're going to tempt you with something or they're going to suggest something, something different. But I think you're going to end up collaborating and it's going to be something outdoorsy, some kind of adventure. I mean, it really could be going out in a boat. Uh, I see lots of water energy. yeah wow yeah they don't want this person's afraid they want to do this too they don't want to miss an opportunity with you but they're afraid to offer you something okay and you like they may suggest something now i wonder you want to keep it simple you may not want to do what they do maybe it's a little too fast moving too fast for you could go the other way around it almost looks like you're the one that's having to remind yourself right you're very tempted by this offer but I feel like you want to keep it simple. But you're definitely both crushing. I can see that energy. You're not sure where it's going to go. Like you're you're not really sure. So you don't want to do anything. I feel like too major. You want to keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah. There's this definitely about something. Yeah. This person wants to offer you something that's just right. And if they feel like it's not, they're worried you're going to reject them. So I think they're going to ask you to collaborate. Like your ideas like what do you want to do kind of thing i see some talk about that <laughs> i would say it definitely something outdoorsy or something new and adventure it's just a sense of freedom like going someplace where you feel free it's fun and i think you're both ready to set off on this and i think this could go somewhere i see some success i see yeah look at this energy yeah you're not so sure some of you aren't sure you want to give up your your single life though you see whether this person's compatible, but you see this energy like I feel this person likes the way you dress. They, You've got this sense of adventure and I feel this is a person who 
Whatever it is, yeah, they want to make sure this moves forward. They're willing to cooperate, compromise. They're basically going to do whatever you want. So they're giving you the opportunity to make a decision because they're afraid whatever they offer won't be just right, okay? And they want everything to be right. And this is you, like you're, if they if, if they offer you something, you might kind of pull back, you're tempted, but you're not sure. So I feel like it's just going to be this back and forth kind of communication, where to go, what to do. Uh, it could be a road trip. I see travel. I see movement. It could be even out in a boat. Anything that's outdoors. It's definitely outdoors. I feel like you're going to dress. They're going to really, <laughs> you're going to dress for success here. <laughs> yeah, I do. And I do feel like you're going to be wearing outdoor type clothes. Like, yeah, I, they're going to like everything. There's, there's this planning. You're going to be planning ahead. Uh, you're definitely going to keep something to yourself here. You're going to hold back a little, even though you're crushing. This could go somewhere. Yeah, you're going some, there's some kind of travel. It doesn't mean you're going far. It could be in your, you know, your own location. But I see some kind of trip or travel. It could be, you know, with the world, some kind of movement. You may move, it could be at a little bit of a distance. Okay, for some of you. But I actually feel whatever it is, you're going to dress the part. Okay. And I think this person, I think you, you're you're dressing for success here. And I think this person will as well. And I feel like you're both single. You're both not really sure where this is going to go if you're compatible. But you're going to check it out. But it could go somewhere. You're going to just let this evolve and see where it goes. And it could go somewhere. I see having a really good time. Um... I'm not seeing companion energy, though. I'm seeing two people who want love, that are emotionally available. You're probably both crushing, but there's something that's keeping you holding back. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, gaining that strength and confidence, taming the beast, holding back. This is yourself not rushing in. I feel like it's you, and I feel like you know, like you need something balanced. You're going to try to do things different than maybe in other relationships, other situations when you've had some kind of an offer. But there is this, yeah, there's definitely some Leo energy. There, There's something going to start here. Everything will be exposed, I feel. You want to go somewhere sunny, uh, I feel, as well. I wonder if so, if you're feeling a little stubborn about where you want to go. But, I, you know, this, this is needing more clarity, needing to learn more to see if you're compatible, right? You may not be sure if this person's right for you. Okay, you might even compare this person to someone else. You're you're looking at all the details here of this person. You're definitely you, you kind of see them worth holding on to, but you're not sure. Yeah, they're definitely going to offer you this cup. There's an opportunity here, okay, to have a fresh new start. I feel you're going somewhere outdoors. There's no doubt about it. I'm getting this vision of like maybe even out in the woods hiking camping i don't know like a uh, little bit of travel involved i feel like you need to be very comfortable you're going to be planning this okay you may be the one that decides to plan it or i, I but i because i feel like they're going to let you kind of have your way because they don't want to be rejected they don't want to miss an opportunity and i feel like if you try to control this in any way okay you could you could miss an opportunity so don't be too picky. Everything doesn't have to be exactly perfect, okay? Because I feel like you are kind of want everything to be perfect. I mean, you could be the one that's reaching out and you want everything perfect. I don't think it needs to be 100% perfect. I think the two of you are going to be quite comfortable. And I do feel that you're both going to be holding back, keeping things to yourself that you're not so sure. You might want to stay single. But I do think you're still going to dress the part, and I think this person will as well. I see it's very earthy, very natural. Uh, you're both, you both have everything you need, okay? You're going to take everything you need with you. I see you bringing a lot of stuff. I do. I see you bringing a lot of stuff. Uh, it could be just a day trip, like you could be just going somewhere, but I see you bringing a lot of things. You're planning for this to move forward. You're, you're definitely looking into the future a little here with this person yeah so you've got this taurus virgo capricorn energy yeah you may spend a lot of money i i'm gonna tell you like you may have two dates here you may have somebody else making you a date you may be having to reject one person you're not sure about one person if you're compatible 
you don't want to rush in and rush out. So I feel as though you're going to just kind of hold back, be patient. It looks like you got someone here who's more right for you and possibly someone who is. And I definitely see the earth energy, maybe a Virgo is coming around. All right. This could be somebody here who is planning to come towards you to reach out. So, yeah, you've got two. I wonder if you've got two trips, two people reaching out. I feel you got someone here with a bit of an ego. Yeah, you've got someone here who's offering you. You've got two offers. I was wondering when this came in, like, I was like, hmm. This is that someone's definitely taming that beast within themselves, holding back. I feel like you need to be very strong and very confident here. Someone sees you that way. They see you as strong, confident, very capable. So if you're making plans and you have several offers coming in you may reject somebody someone here who's just right somebody who isn't because that's what you want and I do think that you need to get to know somebody more so I feel like you're gonna keep it to yourself that you have several dates that you're just single you just want to be free uh, I feel like there's that sense of freedom you may have Sag in your chart actually where you have the person around you does but that can be your energy as well that that fiery energy but there is something being exposed. I think you got several people wanting to uh, date you, to get to know you. You have an emotional offer, and then you have this offer here. You have somebody who, someone has a big ego. And I feel this person's going to offer you something. Somebody's going to offer you a, something better. <laughs> That's what I feel. I wonder if you're going to reject somebody's offer here. But I think you're crushing on this first person. There's something there that you like. Okay, like this, who's more compatible? Who's on the same page? Uh, getting to know each other. Yeah, there's definitely something here. Yeah, I think you're going to end it with someone who's not compatible and go for this person who is. So it looks like two dates. And I do feel they're both outdoorsy. I think you're the one that's doing the planning. I think whoever it is, there's, I, I do, I feel like there's someone here who's not clear about where to go, what to do. They're just anxious. They want to get this going. So if it's not yourself, yeah. So there is this some kind of ending, yeah, transforming. Your whole this could be you holding back, not rushing in. You're just in that single mode. You just have that sense of freedom. Like you want is travel, movement, vacation time. Like that's maybe your this is all happening during your vacation. You definitely have a few people coming around. There's something is going to evolve. I, I got a feeling you're going to reject the original person or you may go with them and then you may feel like they're not right. They're not a good fit because you want to make the right decision here. You want someone who comes towards you just right. But I, I'm going to be honest. I feel like you kind of want things your way. Don't try to control anything. OK, don't try to be the, the boss here. <laughs> Yeah, you're not so sure about investing in a certain person here. It's a crush. Maybe they're just crushing. They're very sweet, whoever they are. Or someone sees you as very sweet. But this this is that energy. Should you invest? It's. I feel like you need to be patient. And I do think you're going to end up going on several dates. But I feel like there's someone here you're going to end things with. Yeah, you're. it's not going to go anywhere. You want things to go in your favor. Somebody here does as well. So you have someone who's coming in. You got an emperor energy, but this could be yourself with the Mars energy, wanting everything your way, planning and preparing something. Just be a little cautious, but it could be this other person coming in. Someone's about to make a decision. I think you got somebody. It could even be someone from the past coming back around, kind of cutting into the middle of this while you meet, meet somebody else. Because I see the tower coming down. I see you ending something. I would be careful. Don't try to have everything your way if it's yourself. If it isn't you, it's the other person. So, yeah, I feel like there's someone here who's not compatible. They're not right. You're not on the same page. Yeah, it's kind of an epiphany as well. But you got this other person planning something. So you have somebody else who's going to take care of the plans, probably pay for everything. I see a trip. Uh, somebody's going to top up somebody's offer, whether they know about it or not, okay? It's going to be better. So you are ready for an adventure in love. I feel like you're just having a good time. And I do feel you will definitely be dressing the part, okay? But I see as a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. I think you know, right? You've gone through. There may have been something that happened. 
you're ending something. It could be just a behavior where you've rushed in before, but it could be another person as well, okay? It's hard to tell. You'll have to flip that energy. Just take what resonates. Yeah, you've got several offers. One of them is definitely a new beginning. Something is going to be exposed with this person. Someone's gaining the strength and the confidence that's been holding back expressing themselves it could be all this one person for some of you where this is person who's someone here is just uh, making a decision to stop holding back uh, major crush emperor energy but is the the emperor can be someone who wants things their way so if you have someone who's stubborn and they want everything their way you will end it because you want it's like you want that smooth sailing you just want to move forward calmly and peacefully feel like you want to go somewhere peaceful Okay, some place that brings you balance. And I do feel it's outdoors for a lot of you. If not, it could be just walking, hiking, any kind of adventure. It could even be just a road trip, a drive to some place. But yeah, I don't see restaurants or dining. I don't see a lot of that romantic kind of energy. I see more adventure, uh, a sense of freedom. And I feel like you got someone who wants to pay for an adventure. Somebody here's planning something. So I feel like you got somebody else who's planning something. And I feel as though this is a person who's pretty serious, okay? They're going to pay for it, yeah? They've got the money. They are, they're looking for someone stable, someone they can rely on. This is someone you can rely on. So, I mean, it could be an emperor who, emperor who co comes in, makes a decision, and you may decide that you're not interested in this other person. Even I do think you're going to have a date with both, and I do think they're both going to be similar dates, just watch that stubborn energy wanting everything your way, okay, if you're feeling, because you could miss an opportunity. So just a, just a little caution. It's Maybe you're just going to reminisce on the past. You might be comparing two people. So interesting enough. Let me see what the outcome of this is. Yeah, there's someone you're not compatible with, not on the same page. Maybe they don't cooperate. Maybe they're trying to control everything uh, for whatever reason. But, you know, it's like this light, lively energy, and you're not rushing into anything to rush out. I think you, it's you who wants to know more. You want to get to know somebody more uh, before you kind of maybe go off alone with them kind of energy. Like that said, it, it's like you're traveling alone kind of energy. You may go, you may decide to not take this person with you. If you're planning something, you're the one inviting it or they do, okay, you may decide that they're not right. You may decide to go alone on an adventure. You could actually run into another person. Yeah, this could be the one. Something's happening. You got, this is going to be kind of fast and furious. I see a lot of talk. I see a lot of communication. I see this strength, this confidence, trying to be brave. So, uh, whatever it is you're planning, it's going to take some bravery. I do think it's something full of adventure. And I do think there's a person you're going to meet. If you end up not going with this one person because they want everything their way, you feel like you're not compatible, this could be yourself, that Mars energy, just ending it. Enough. You don't want to do it. You don't want someone who's controlling everything. <laughs> just like I said, be careful it's not you. I don't think it is, but, you know, it doesn't mean it's drastic either. It doesn't have to be this big drama. But yeah, you've got someone else who's going to make you an offer. And if you do travel and go somewhere alone on vacation or a trip, you could meet this person who's also on an adventure. So someone who's planning something, and I think they're going to offer you something. This is someone you can rely on, someone to protect you. Okay, so I do feel there's something to do with bravery, whatever it is you're going to be planning. Some of you are planning something could even be a little bit dangerous. I wonder if you're going camping or something by yourself or I just you're being brave. You're ready to start something. You want love. You want you are ready for it. Yeah, there's this true love. This you this person here. Who the heck is this? Let's see who this is. You're definitely going to make a decision here. Who is this King of Pentacles that's making you this offer? This is someone who has a bit of an ego, but they want to have success. So it's a big, solid offer. They're probably going to offer to pay for everything. Definitely have money. They're financially stable. Look at that. This is someone who's looking for a partner. They want someone they can rely on as well. So I feel there's something to do with that. You're going to go with somebody who's maybe more reliable. You may just change your mind. 
Okay, or you may reach out to someone and they may reject your offer and then another one comes in from something else. No matter what happens, you're having success. Something is going forward here and it's going to bring change. So it's possible you could change your mind and not go with one person and go by yourself. Here we go. Yeah, let your friends help you. Yeah, your friends, you may talk to your friends about this. Okay, a little bit of support what to do. Some of you, you may go with friends, it's possible, but I see you traveling alone. I see you kind of keeping things to yourself, doing your thing. I see you, you're, you're traveling, you're taking everything you need, you're looking, you're planning the future. You know, you might even keep, it's sort of telling you to keep this to yourself, don't tell your friends. <laughs> Maybe this person doesn't want anyone to know, I don't know. I would be a little cautious of this person, but not overly. I, I think this is someone who is wants to give you attention they want this adventure they want to get to know you so there's definitely a few people involved no matter how i i, I look at it it's pretty much the same thing yeah someone definitely sees you as a keeper here heart to heart conversations i see a lot of talk this could be with friends before you go but i think it's it, it to me i whenever i see this it pops into my head immediately don't tell anyone keep this to yourself Okay, it's kind of private. You might even want to go somewhere private, someplace where there isn't a lot of people out of your community. Could be this person too, just sort of keeping it to yourself because you're definitely up to something here. But it could be this person as well. Take it as a, yeah, getting to know each other. Yeah, somebody wants to get to know you. They don't have a lot of clarity. They don't know everything about you. You don't know everything about them. So I feel like you're going to go off alone with this person and spend some time getting to know each other. All right, Scorpio, one last card. Ah, uh, yes, there's that chemistry and passion. Ooh, they want to get you alone. Maybe you're thinking that, hmm? Little chemistry. I do see there's someone here who's just right, someone who's not. And, uh, you know, it's funny how that starts to work its way into the storyline. So it does look like there will be a rejection somebody's not right they're not a good fit you're not so sure right but you are possibly worried about missing an opportunity and you know it's possible there may be some gossip if you're sharing any of this because that uh, friends right that social media that kind of energy as well if you put this out on social media somebody very well may uh, be seeing this and decide they may going to miss an opportunity if they don't come in so they could come in very suddenly okay and kind of cut in on this yeah wow enjoy it whatever it is i see that you're definitely i i see you tra thinking of traveling alone but there's going to be something that you're that something is going to change i don't think you're going to be single forever if you go off somewhere with this person i mean it could be a bed and breakfast it could be but i do feel an outdoor adventure i see this sense of adventure that sagittarius energy so whether that's you've got that energy in your chart or it's the other person but you have someone here who wants to offer you they want to get on the same page they're trying to come up with ideas to speak a truth to you but it's like you're taking off in another direction i don't maybe they're just a bit too needy they want too much of your attention maybe you're not really ready to commit yeah there's some trust issues yeah you may not trust this person it could this could be the person coming back from the past you could have a, an ex or someone who's crushing on you, but they maybe they're too needy. Maybe it's not your energy. Uh, there's definitely some trust issues with them. Yeah, uh, control issues. Yeah, they may be kind of controlling. This is also an energy of someone who kind of can be you know, a little bit codependent, but this is about allowing the situation to unfold naturally. Don't try to control things. But yeah, I do feel like it's giving us the message. You don't trust to this person, even though they may be in love with you, want to offer you love. But I see you possibly ending it with them and going off in another direction. Or it's someone you don't trust because things didn't end well. It didn't transform. They rushed in and out. Could go either way. Yeah, there's that playfulness energy. Somebody who's kind of flirty. Um, a little bit of a player possibly. But there definitely there's... And they could be holding back feelings. It, you know... I see a lot going on here. Scorpio, you're going to be busy this summer. 
I mean, it depends where everybody lives, but I do see outdoor adventures, and at not no matter what I do, I see outdoor adventures. I see it, you having to be very brave. Someone seeing you brave and strong, or seeing you clearly, like someone really likes that, and that's this person here. This is someone outdoorsy as well, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So yeah, safe for you to love. As soon as I said that, this is someone you can open your heart to. You may change your mind about being single. You may change your mind about going alone if this person makes you an offer. Or you're going to meet them somewhere out there, wherever it is you're going. Okay, Scorpio, wish you the best. Crazy. All right, bye for now.